Hey guys, this is kind of a follow-up or addendum to the last video where we talked about the TDA 2050 bridge amp. So if you haven't seen that yet, you probably want to watch that first. But in that last video, I was using a power supply and of course when you put the uh, power supply under load, the output voltage will drop if it's not regulated. And we were getting about 45, I think it was, 45.6 watts or something like that. With plus and minus 16 volt supply into 8 ohm load. And that's pretty decent. But I was hoping to use a higher supply voltage. And uh, to do that I'd need a different setup here. So I have this toroidal transformer connected to the full wave bridge a couple of capacitors configured into split supply mode for the TDA 2050 bridge amp and I'll adjust the variac so I can get the proper voltage under load and uh, we can get a good measurement hopefully so right now I'm running about 6 volts that's kind of the neat thing with the 2050 chip. It'll run at very low voltages. So if you wanted to have, you know, if you had a situation where you didn't have enough voltage, you can still run the amplifier. Of course, the power would be limited. You know, we're putting out, you know, before clipping, we're putting out 2.48 volts. Let me grab my calculator and see what that is. It's under a watt. I know that. Let's see. 2.48 volts RMS squared. And we have to divide that by the load impedance. So the amplifier only puts out about three quarters of a watt. Not much at all at low voltage. But it goes up exponentially as we increase the voltage okay let me get this thing set up for higher voltages okay I'm at the maximum voltage I can run these chips quiescent that's 50 volts plus minus 25 volts so let me turn the signal on watch how that drops drops down to about 36 volts and we're getting 21.7 or so jumps around a bit so it really pulls the voltage down even though we have this uh, pretty heavy transformer so let's see what kind of power we are getting from that so we have 21.7 volts RMS Square that, divided by 8 ohms, 58.86 watts, getting pretty close to 60. Now here's one thing, that resistor is actually 7.5 ohms. I call it an 8 ohm load because there's some loss there. Now I'm using very short wires and they're soldered right onto the load and I'm scoping right at the load so we're actually putting that much power into seven and a half ohms so let's see let's redo that 21.7 squared divided by 7.5 so we're putting uh, just shy of 63 watts into our load so that is pretty good. Just wanted to do that. I wanted to get the voltage up a little higher. Like I said, the power supply I used last time didn't quite get me there. And uh, yeah, pretty impressive. Thanks for watching.